Well, 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 here we are again. I wanted to discuss something that I see a lot of people making videos about, and this is my take on it. You don't have to take this too seriously. We're just hanging out here talking about BS, okay? People talk about the STF. The shit hits the fan, world without law. Um, if things really went haywire. Now, you're talking to the United States, people often like to, you know, discuss things like civil war, revolution. Um, I hate to break it to y'all, but there cannot be one. That's my dog playing with a squeaky toy. Anyway... I'll tell you exactly why, and you're not going to like it, but it's the truth. The truth is, the United States has too many factions here. There have been countless, and I mean countless, people from other nations that have literally unlawfully infiltrated our nation over the last, say, decade or so. Different ethnic groups tend to, you know, um, well, they collect together in very specific locations, usually urban locations, what could be considered strategic locations. And as they're flooding across our borders, they're reinforcing those ranks. So in the event of like a civil conflict or a revolution where the nation becomes formally destabilized, those factions will begin to secure territory for themselves. It's not going to be a right versus left. Like so many people like to speculate or pretend. But what I'm here to discuss is this. What is my shit hits the fan rifle? And that's it right there. It's simple. It's inexpensive. Well, you can build it with good quality parts. It was always helpful. Um, that one only has a melanided barrel. It's one eight twist, mid-length gas system. It's a mil, mil spec trigger. The idea is the rifle is durable. Now, what you're going to notice right away, because you see on all these people who are into all the military stuff and all the extra bolt-ons, there's no lights, there's no lasers, there's no optics aside from the iron sights, and there's a reason for that. You see, when things are destabilized and you have no electricity, you have nobody manufacturing batteries, you have, you know, um, you just don't have access to the resources needed to maintain selected technologies on your equipment, for starters. So their being up there just adds weight. Weight is a liability. Now, what you do have is this is a very old design, as we know. The carry handle with, with the iron sights on is an older design. But the iron sights are good. They work. They're effective. Not only are they effective, but the carry handle effectively actually helps guard that rear, rear sight. It's sturdy. It's difficult to break in this location. The front sight is also, you know, it's shielded. And that triangle is pretty robust. I also have a, a bayonet lug on the front of this. And I do have a bayonet for it. Now, you know, laugh. My favorite G.I. Joe character is uh, Airborne. That was my favorite figure when I was growing up. 1983 figure. I know it's a little off topic. But he had a rifle similar to this with a bayonet on it. So I have a bayonet, on, a bayonet for this rifle. I call it the Franklin E. Tall Tree Rifle. Not that many of you know what that is, but I do. And that's all that's ma that really matters. But the point is, is the rifle is simple and it's effective. It's easy to maintain. It's an AR platform rifle. Parts will, you know, when they're no longer manufactured, at least they'll be out there. There's plenty of these rifles out there. Ammunition, 223-556. I recommend a 556 barrel or 223 wild. So it allows you that flexibility when searching for ammunition because you're not always going to have a choice of what bullets you're going to be able to carry. It's that simple. But this idea when these people have these fully, you know, tactical rifles, I mean, I get it if you're in the military and you see it that way because you've been in actual conflict. But those conflicts you're in are in organized former militaries that are supported by billions of dollars, you know, taxpayer funded. 
You don't have that option in a shit hits the fan situation. You want something light, fast, and durable. That's my opinion. I know it's maybe controversial. Maybe a lot of people don't like it. Maybe it's, maybe it, it, it maybe I'm wrong. It's very possible too. But yeah, this site picture also, because of its height and where its location is, allows for very fast acquisition um, of targets. I like the mid-length kit. The bit mid length gas system because it does uh, help smooth things out a little bit and you get a little more grip on there, which is always nice in the front. Like the 